Hello, this is Kent Ribley. I'm here in my Washington studio, and today I want to talk about torches. I use three different torches, but there's many of them out there, and I thought it would be useful to just go over some of the different types of flames, the different operations, and what type of flame is appropriate for different operations, and why I use these torches. So I have my favorite three here, and I have a basic welding torch that's an oxygen and acetylene. This I use for melting and alloying and casting, things like that. I have a propane oxygen torch. This is called the Swiss torch, and it comes with a variety of tips. I use this for platinum work mostly and for sizings, things like that. And my favorite torch of all is the blowpipe, which I use with propane and breath. So uh, I'm gonna go over each of these torches individually and give you an idea of uh, why I use these different torches for the different things. So we'll go into that now. Okay, so here I am with my favorite torch of all, the blowpipe. This is a German-made blowpipe. Uh, it's made by a family in Germany and they specialize in these types of torches. And it's run propane and the oxygen is supplied by my lungs. So, uh, it gives me a variety of flames, but it's really uh, a very nice reducing flame that I use both for granulation and for kneeling, but I also use this for all types of soldering, like silver and gold soldering. You, get, you can get a variety of flames with it. If you just put a little bit of gas in there, you can get a pretty hot enough flame to melt small amounts of gold, like into balls. So it gives you, a, you can get a pretty focused flame with it. And then also it's great for um, just general heating and a reducing environment that's required for granulation, which is my specialty. So for that, you just you crank up the, uh, the gas all the way. And you envelop the piece with the flame and that keeps it from oxidizing. It's also great for annealing so I've got a piece of copper here that I'm going to anneal and then quench and I'll keep the flame over the piece as I'm bringing it to the quench bowl so that it doesn't oxidize. And this is pure copper, so uh, that is the most easily oxidized metal at high heat, but you'll see just by keeping the flame on it that it just goes straight to the quench and keeps its shine. So here we go. Another thing I really love about my blowpipe is that because I'm breathing into the flame, it actually helps me focus on what I'm doing. And the breathing control is kind of a, it's, it's almost like a, a circular breathing technique where you're actually breathing in and out and keeping a flame going at a constant pace here. Let me just show you how that works. So you can actually keep a flame constant and still breathe in and out by blowing some air out the corners of your mouth and some of the air through the tube. So it's a really kind of a fun learning curve, but it's also a very useful torch and very easy to use once you get the breathing technique down. So this is one of my, uh, this is my all time favorite torch. And uh, if you feel adventurous, I recommend giving it a try. The other thing I want to mention about this blowpipe, it also has a really nice pilot light that always stays lit, so you're not always having to light your torch. But uh, I wanted to mention that, yes, I'm running propane through this torch, but this torch was actually designed for natural gas. If you run natural gas through this, it has a much smaller flame, much less reducing flame, and the reason I use this torch is because it has a larger orifice 
which is designed for the, for the natural gas, but it allows more propane to come through so I can get the biggest, fattest, dirtiest, most reducing flame as, that I can. So when you order, if you want to order one of these, these are available at Auto Fry. Do not order the natural gas, order the natural gas blowpipe and run propane through it. It's a low pressure gas pipe, no, uh, no regulators necessary except for a fixed pressure regulator like you would use with a camp stove or some other kind of household appliance. This is run on household gas line. Uh, propane gas line. So that's about the right amount of pressure right there. Okay, so the next torch I'd like to show you is the Swiss torch. This is my hot torch. This is where I need, when I need to get in and out of something really fast, uh, like sizing a ring with a stone, that kind of thing, where I need to melt solder as quickly as possible and then get the piece cooled off before the stone's affected or if I need to melt or work with platinum, this is the torch I go to because it's the hottest of the torches I own. The thing I like about the Swiss torch is it's very, uh, it has lots of different tips that are very easy to change. Um, it's just a matter of unscrewing the head and then screwing on the other. So we have everything from a micro torch Which is this. This has also three different sized straw shaped tips. And that's for getting really into really small areas. Um, so you have a micro torch all the way up to a massive uh, platinum melting tip here that really could just pretty much melt anything you have in the shop. So uh, it's a very uh, useful torch in a lot of ways. The thing about it, of course, is it's a very hot, oxygen-rich flame, so you have an oxidizing flame with this. It's not appropriate for doing granulation or annealing, that kind of thing, where a reducing flame is more uh, in order. So um, what I'm gonna do right now is do a quick little platinum solder joint here using this micro tip, and uh, just show you how, um, how that works. Okay, so I've got uh, the very finest uh, uh, little micro tip on the Swiss torch. The flame is ready to go. I'm going to just do a hard solder of a, of a small square wire to a very small piece of sheet. And I'm um, going to go in there and it should go, it, go in and out pretty fast. There you have it. That's the Swiss torch uh, micro tip. I'd like to say a few more things about the Swiss torch. One is uh, this is propane and oxygen, and again, the propane is at a very high pressure. On this type of torch, you use a regulator, an adjustable regulator like this, and uh, each tip has different pressures that it works under. So the bigger the tip, the, the higher the pressure you can use, and the smaller the tip, the lower the pressures of the gases have to be. The thing with propane, which is interesting also, is it uses four times as much oxygen to burn as acetylene does. So it gives you a bit more of an oxidizing flame. So the next torch I want to show you is the acetylene oxygen torch, which I use for most of my alloying and melting operations. And so that's it for the Swiss torch. Um, I really love this torch. It's very functional. And now we'll move on to another one. All right, so here we are uh, with the acetylene oxygen torch. This is a basic welder's torch. Um, this is a medium tip. And this is what I use for uh, heating metals in crucibles mostly. So that's either for melting metals for casting or for uh, creating ingots and uh, alloying gold. So what I'm going to do here is tor uh, strike it up and uh, melt a little bit of gold here. So you need to wear goggles with any oxygen torch to protect your eyes. And we'll go here. So this is a nice flame. Uh, the thing I like about acetylene is it burns a little bit hotter than propane but uses a lot less oxygen, about one quarter of the amount of oxygen that propane does. 
So you get, you get a little bit uh, softer or more reducing flame, but still a lot of heat. Okay, so when I uh, adjust the flame for this type of work, I, I want to go for about a two inch long blue flame that's just barely uh, not yellow. So it's, a it's really a reducing flame. And uh, it's about, you know, it's a, if I were to adjust a little more gas into it, a little more acetylene, it would turn yellow. So it's just past the real reducing flame into a barely oxidizing flame, which is really hot and yet protects the metal from over, overheating or oxidation. So it takes about uh, two or three minutes to melt the gold. This is a gold alloy I'm making right now. It's silver, copper, and gold in the crucible that I'm melting together. I've got it placed underneath my ingot mold because I would like to warm the ingot mold as I'm uh, heating the gold. And uh, this, this is just the way I like to heat my metal when I'm melting. I do the exact same process for casting. I always keep my flame moving so I'm not heating uh, anything too much at one time. I keep the flame moving around all the metal so it's not heating one spot more than the other. And I use a stirring rod to remove extra flux. I use borax as a flux. And the stirring rod is graphite and, and stirs the metal so that every, I make sure everything's melted, but most importantly, make sure that the fine gold, which is the last to melt, is all melted and, and everything is mixed together properly. Okay, so that's all I have to say about torches for now, but uh, if you'd like to see more about how I use my torches and, and how I execute some of my pieces, you can uh, find us at kentrively.com or on our Facebook page. And uh, we have a lot of interesting uh, work in progress being shown there that I think you would really enjoy. So I hope to see you later, and thanks for joining us.